Hey you guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a brand new waterproof pin pointer from Dr. Otech, which is called the MT6 Pro. Now, full disclosure, this was sent to me for free for the purpose of this review. However, that will not change my opinion whatsoever. I actually get a lot of offers to do product reviews, most of which I turned down, but I decided to do a review on this one because I feel like there could be a place for it in the market. What I mean by that is there's plenty of good pinpointers out there like the Garrett AT series, the MindLab Profine, the uh, XP pinpointers, but all of those are usually well over $100. There's also plenty of cheap ass pinpointers out there on eBay and Amazon for 25 to 50 bucks, but all of those have one thing in common and that's that they barely even work. Uh, as a new user or somebody who's new to the hobby, you're really only left with those two choices that I know of, so it'd be nice to find one that's reasonably priced and still good quality and works well. Could this be the one? Let's find out. Okay, we'll take a quick look at the box. Dr. Otech MT6 Pro. And there's some of the specifications. It says waterproof grade IP68. Right inside the box, you're gonna get a holster going to get a lanyard, you're going to get the uh, 9 volt battery, and you're going to get your user manual. Take a look at that real quick. Gives you your package contents and specifications, operation frequency, operating temperature, two button operation, 360 degree detection, waterproof grade, three operation modes, vibrate mode, sound mode, vibration mode with sound together. LCD display shows the signal strength, automatic shutdown. Yeah, I've already glanced over this a little bit, so I'm not gonna read through all of it. All right, so it uses a nine volt battery like most of the others. And that's just gonna drop right in there. Right off the bat, I can tell you it feels pretty good. It's got a nice quality feel to it. It doesn't feel cheap at all. We'll do a little size comparison to the uh, Garrett Pro Pointer. It's about the same size, maybe a half inch longer. About the same diameter. To turn it on, you're gonna hit this bottom button here. I'm gonna give you a couple of beeps. And uh, it's got a few different modes. It's got the uh, sound and vibrate mode together. You can see the screen lights up the closer you get to the target. And if you press that button again, it takes you to sound only mode. Pressing it one more time, it's vibration only mode. Now it does remember your mode when you turn it off and turn it back on again. So we'll get back into sound and vibration together. Uh, it does have a LED light, has a scraper built in and 360 degree detection all the way around. All right, so let's set this thing up and uh, see how far it can detect a coin. To turn it off, we're just gonna hold this button. Yeah, I've got a few different coins here. Let's see if we can get an idea of how far away from the tip it starts to pick them up. We'll start out with a US quarter. So it starts to hit it right around two and a half to two and three quarter inches. And of course, the closer you get, the more intense the signal. Next up, we'll do a, a nickel. So it likes the nickel a little bit better. It's hitting it all the way out to three inches or so. That's pretty good. Okay, next up, we'll do a clad dime. About two and a half inches on the clad dime. And finally, we have a zinc penny here. About two and three quarter inches on the zinc penny. Like I said, this thing has a 360 degree detection and the distance is gonna be about the same from the sides. 
I forgot to mention earlier that this also has what they call a balance mode. When you hit that top button there, you're gonna see the arrow goes green and that's to help eliminate EMI. But what you're gonna notice is you're gonna lose a little bit of sensitivity when you have it in balance mode. Yeah, you're gonna lose about an inch or so. Okay, next up, we're gonna dunk this thing and make sure it really is waterproof. Just gonna drop it down in here and it wants to float. So we'll close the lid on it. We'll leave it in here for about two or three hours. Now it'll be plenty of time to see if it's gonna, see if it's gonna be waterproof. There we go. All right, it is Sunday, December 11th and 3.19 p.m. We'll come back and check it in a couple of hours. All right, guys, it is now 5.19 p.m. It's been exactly two hours. Time to take the lid off this thing and see if it really is waterproof. Try it off just a little bit. All right, moment of truth. And yes, it is. Does it still work? Yes, it does. All right, I'm gonna dry it off a little bit and then we'll uh, make sure that there's no water up inside where the battery is, but I don't think there's gonna be. Yes, yeah, bone dry in there. All right, so pass the waterproof test. Now let's go give it a try out in the field. Sounds like a shallow coin. Memorial Penny. Coin signal about four or five inches deep. There it is. It'll be a copper memorial. All right. Shallow 94 signal. It's probably going to be a clad quarter. It is, yep. Cloud quarter. Another one hitting around 90. Most likely going to be a copper penny.
on the plug. There it is. Nope, that's a dime. Glad dime. All right. All right, guys, so that was the Dr. Otec MT6 Pro. I used it for several hours today and it performed flawlessly. Didn't have any trouble whatsoever. Uh, as far as the price goes, this is still in the testing phases, but from what I've been told, once it's released, it's going to go for somewhere between $49 and $79. I think that's a really good price for what you get. This is uh, leaps and bounds ahead of the cheap uh, pin pointers you'll find on eBay and Amazon. Those are basically just copies of more expensive pin pointers and they barely even work. This one is its own design and from what I've seen so far has worked flawlessly. So I'll continue to test it for a while and uh, we'll see how it goes, but so far so good. All right guys, thanks for watching, happy hunting, and I'll see you next time.